Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be basically my own version or take on a lipstick roulette. I recently was feeling really overwhelmed by my lipstick collection as I started to think about how much of it I actually like don't use at all. I feel like I use like three lipsticks in my collection and I probably have over like 200 to 300 lipsticks. So I started to think about doing some sort of like lipstick roulette type of video and then I searched on YouTube and realized that LS had done a lipstick roulette video so I will leave her channel as well as her playlist linked down below and then I know that there's a bunch of YouTubers now who do very similar videos so I will leave linked as many as I can find down below for you guys as well. So I pulled out a ton of my lipstick collection. I haven't even like grabbed everything. I kind of left everything that's in separate like acrylic containers that I like or use a little bit more than the stuff that I have in like the boxes behind me but essentially I'm going to pick 15 separate lipsticks or lip products and I'm going to try and get some use out of them in the next month. I will come back at the beginning of September. We'll see what I liked, what I planned to declutter, whether or not I even used any of them. I'm so bad at using lip products. Just because at work I never use lip products unless it's like a chapstick. So the only time I'm really ever using lip products is if I'm going out with, you know, my family on the weekends or if I'm filming. So I just don't use lip products that much. Therefore, I don't need the large lipstick collection that I currently have. So my goal is hopefully by the end of this series, so we'll be doing it for a total of five months, I'm hoping to declutter at least probably 30 to 50 lip products. We'll see. We will see. I may end up just like decluttering some of this like as I'm choosing the lipsticks that I'm going to be trying to use this month. So if you guys are interested in seeing the lip picks for this lipstick roulette video, then just keep watching. All right guys, so I have four separate boxes behind me. They're all like organized by color. And then I also pulled out this little like acrylic organizer that has mostly minis in it. I know, I really like lip minis. So I'm thinking, like I typically go for reds or neutrals, but I have a large collection of colorful lipsticks as well. So I'm gonna try and like swatch through some of these with you and we're going to try, I'm not gonna like randomly select 15 um, out of like a bucket or anything. I'm just going to like go through my collection and try and pick 15 lip products to try and use. So that being said, let's start with my little mini here. And like right off the bat, I have this little mini Givenchy lipstick that is in this like gray black color. Like, oh, and as I swatch this, oh, as I swatch this, it's almost just like a, like a purple. It almost is like a gloss, it looks like. It's very creamy. This is, it just says rouge international vinyl lipstick okay I'm actually I thought I was going to declutter this right away I'm gonna pull this out and see if I can use this because this looks super it's not it's not super pigmented so I feel like I could actually get some use out of this so this is going to be a product that I'm gonna pull and try and use okay so then I also have this one from um, nude sticks and it's actually unopened it's still in the wrapper and everything I think I got this in like a Vogue box or whatever, um, and it's in the color vinyl. I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it looks like a really dark purple. I've had this for at least a few months, and I haven't obviously felt the need to even open this or try this. So I'm actually gonna set this aside and save it for a future giveaway. So this is one that I'll be getting out of my collection. All right, so I have this stiff upper lip stain from Unique in the shade Sultry, and I actually used to really like their lip stains and just like the way they worked and performed as you can tell it's just a nice red i'm gonna pull this and see if i still like it and if not i will go ahead and declutter this in the next video i think i forgot to mention this but i'm gonna try and pull five lip products from each no if i pulled five lip products from each box that'd be f i'm gonna try and pull I'm going to try and pull three lip products from each separate box, so that'll be a total of 15. Okay, so I pulled this unique lipstick out that literally is like just, yep, that broke off. So we're going to get rid of this, so we're we're going to declutter this. I also have this old Mary Kay Nourishine lip gloss. I just want to swatch this and see what it looks like. a Barbie pink lip gloss. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I'm going to hang on to this but not toss it in to my collection just yet. Okay, I think for the last little mini that I want to pick, I think I want to pick one of my Marc Jacobs minis just because I want to decide if I like this formula before the VIB sale, which I know is in November, but 
Okay, I'm gonna swatch the two that I have. I have this one, which is in the shade Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is right here. It's like a medium pink. And then I have this mauve toned one, which I really like purple mauve tones, so I'll probably end up picking this one, which is right here. This is in the shade Slow Burn. I'm gonna pick Slow Burn, and we are going to try and use this one this month. Okay, I'm going to put away my lipstick acrylic organizer because I selected three lip products from here. And we're going to move on to like my pink purple badge. Okay, so right away I have this e.l.f. pencil crayon lipstick. And I don't always love this type of um, formula or format. This is what the shade looks like. It's like a nice berry pink, but I don't always love berry pinks either because I feel like they can kind of tend to make your lips look, or not your lips, your teeth look yellow. So I'm gonna pull this and I'm gonna try and use this and see if I like the shade. And if not, we will declutter this in my first update. And then looking at this, I see this right away, which is like this purple matte lip paint. I'm sure I got this in some sort of subscription box. And, ugh, I just like, Feel like i always just want to declutter and then i swatch it and i like the shade so that's what it looks like it's a nice mauve toned liquid lipstick i'm gonna pull this try mm, maybe i should say i'm gonna save this one for september i feel like this is more like a fall vibes let's see here's another like pink berry shade this is from jelly pong pong so again i'm sure i got this in some sort of subscription box and it's oh this is actually more like a gloss it is a gloss a hydrating lip gloss in the shade necessity there is right right on top here um i feel like i'm never gonna use a gloss this shade so i'm gonna declutter this i have two little studded lipsticks from kat von d i'm gonna swatch the shades and maybe i will choose one of these so this one right here is in the shade bauhaus again this is like a berry purple color which i just don't wear that much and then ooh, ooh, i don't know why i ever would have kept this this is in the shade homegirl and it's like a deep purple as you can see right here i just don't see myself using a deep purple i don't ever see myself using a deep purple Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this deep purple on my lips this month and just see what it looks like. And we'll probably be decluttering this come the next update. Okay, I have this lipstick from DLS. Again, this is like my berry drawer. There it is right there. This is in the shade Vengeance. And I'm gonna pull this and we're gonna try this. And if I don't like the color on my lips, which I'm not thinking I'm going to again right here, we will declutter this in the next update. I feel like I probably am going to enter, end up decluttering the majority of the lipsticks in here. Just because it's like the berry tones are just not my personal vibe. All right, next up we have my Pure Reds box. And right away I see this Cougar Bullet lipstick that I never know. I, I know again I got this in some sort of a boxy charm or like Ipsy, something like that. So I definitely want to test that out this month. This is what it looks like. It looks more of like a sheer red. So we'll see about this. Ooh, then I also want to toss in this Burt's Bees. I think this is in the shade Scarlet Soaked. Yes. Um, I purchased this because I saw someone else wearing it in a video and I like loved it. But then of course I bought it and never even tried it. So that is what Scarlet Soaked looks like. So I'm going to toss this guy in. And then I have this Stila lip product. This is in, this is one of the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks, which I know I like the, this formula. Um, this is in the shade Venetia. So we will just see if I like this color. Again, I do know that I like the formula. Oh, but that's a really fun red color for the end of summer. So I feel like this is a good time to give this a shot. Okay, and that was actually really easy to pick my reds. Okay, right, next up we're onto this box. And this is like lip products where I know I like actually like the formula. So I just own quite a few and I don't have them in like a lipstick acrylic organizer. So I have some Lime Crime liquid lipsticks as well as some Tarte um lip lingeries and then i have some of the l'oreal liquefied lip liquid lipsticks which all of my l'oreal liquid lipsticks are more fall shades so i'm gonna hold off on those for the time being i think okay so i know i want to pull out this lime crime diamond crusher just because 
this formula is like a little bit ridiculous and I don't know why I even really purchased this just because I know I'm not going to get much use out of it or at least I don't think so but actually now that I swatch it I don't know if you'll be able to see it it doesn't look as intense as I thought it was going to be so I'm going to pull this out I think this is a good time to try that I'm also going to pull this out from Lime Crime this is one of their metallic lips and I believe I just purchased this out of sheer curiosity but I don't really see myself using this this is what it looks like right here this is in the shade blondie so we'll see if i can get some use out of that and then i do want to pull out one of the tarte lip laundries just because i feel like i purchased this out of like hearing such great reviews oh no okay i'm gonna have to declutter this because this seems to have the product seems to have disappeared um but i purchased these in their holiday kit last holiday time um and then it was like one of those purchases where i was so excited about it but then i didn't use it that much so i'm gonna have to throw this guy out okay so here's the four lip lingeries i have swatched and i feel like my instinct is to grab this one but i know i like this one and that's not the point of this project if you will so i'm gonna pull this one because i feel like i could get use out of this like i feel like this is like a nice neutral shade but at the same time, I don't always love the neutral. So I'm gonna pull this one. It is in the shade Enchanting and we are gonna test this guy out this month. All right, and then finally you guys, my fullest box is like my neutral slash nudes. Ooh, I again have another nude stick in here that I haven't opened, but I actually feel like I'm gonna like this shade a lot. So I'm not going to, I'm not gonna get that one up just yet. Okay, so I have this, oh, from Bite Beauty. I think this was one of the, I think this came in the birthday set. And I haven't tried this formula yet, but I do really enjoy Bite Beauty. This is in the shade Glance. It's swatched right there. It's kind of like a more gray purple shade. Gray purple, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna try this guy out because I haven't yet. I also have this pretty vulgar. This might be like a metallic lip. I know I got this in a boxy charm, I think. Yep, this is a metallic lip which I don't think I'm going to be a huge fan of. There it is swatched right there. So I'm going to try this. And again, if I don't like this, I will get rid of it. Ooh, and then I'm also going to pull this one in just because I feel like I was going to love this shade. And then I feel like I tried it on my lips and just like hated it the way it looked. So I want to give it another try. This is from the brand Tease. This is the shade right there. It's like this coral shade. Um, it's in the shade Killing Me Softly. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I like this, and if not, we will get rid of it in the next update. All right, you guys, and after that, we have selected 15 products for me to test throughout the next month. Again, I will do an update in the beginning of September, letting you know what I liked, what I wanted to clutter, what I loved, was on the fence about, give you all the info in the next update. Let me know if you enjoy this type of video by leaving me a thumbs up or a comment in the comment box down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to do so before you go, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.